All right, guys, I'm gonna do a quick little video going over our different flex models to help you guys decide which fin suits you best. And honestly, I run all three, and I don't understand why a lot of fin companies don't offer multiple flex because I like different fins for different situations. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the standard flex. We designed the fin for a reason with a full length rail. The full length rail gives you support in the stroke no matter what stiffness or rubber you, we decide to run in the fin. So this is the standard flex. You'll also notice the stiff blade, the rubber goes up the high back, up the foot pocket of the, of the fin. This gives you a snugger fit, more performance fit, and more support in the stroke. So you can see how stiff this is. This is gonna act like a paddle. This is gonna push the maximum amount of water. So big surf, bodyboarders looking for that quick burst of, of speed to get into the wave, they love the standard flex. If you're looking for a fin that's just gonna like, it acts like a paddle, it's pushing a ton of water, go standard flex. The next model we offer is the soft flex. We take the soft rubber on the top of the pocket like the standard flex, but we continue it around the back of the foot pocket. Gives you an ultra comfortable pocket. We still use a pretty stiff blade. And as you'll notice, it's a little softer. Okay. We recommend this fin for people that kind of want to do everything and want all day comfort. Wave photographers love the soft flex because it's super comfortable to stand in. You can kind of run out, get those uh, shore break photos and still have a fin that's powerful enough to kind of get you into the wave and get you out of the water. So this is, the soft flex is kind of our jack of all trades, do everything fin. Surprisingly, I'm even, I ride 20 foot wedge, I run the ultra soft. The reason I like the ultra soft, same jam with the soft flex, we have super soft rubber in the foot pocket, front and back, and then we, then we run a soft blade as well. The reason I like this fin is I like surf mats, I like body surfing, I like flex moons. I like, I like my wave riding tools to be dynamic and flex. This fin flexes on the wave, but what's cool is we have the full length rail like, like I talked about earlier. This fin will load up and it snaps back. So this fin has a very snappy, poppy feel. It's very lively in the water and has a lot of flex and it reacts with the water, with the wave. I love that. That's why I run this fin. And yes, in huge surf, you'll feel it start folding. I don't mind it because our fin has a full length rail. So even though it folds, it's going to snap back. It's still going to give you plenty of pop and plenty of snap. Some people prefer the paddle. So if you like a fin that's snappy and reactive in the water, go with the ultra soft. If you're looking for a fin to kind of do everything, soft flex, and you're looking for a fin for big surf, lifeguards, a majority of the bodyboarders I know, since they're using a board, uh, knee boarders, they're just kind of, kind of just kicking into waves real quick and that burst of power goes standard flex. Ideally, this is why we have all three models, different situations, different fins. Cruising down to the beach with the kids, 40th Street, really comfortable fin, ultra soft, which gets over 20 foot. I'm busting out the standard flexes, everyday fin. I kind of have in my bag, soft flex. So I hope that helps you guys out. And that's why we run multiple options of stiffness, um, different strokes for different folks, right? I don't understand why some fin companies just have one flex. Obviously, it's within a full length they can't do it. So yep, that's, that's the yucca flexes. I hope that helped you guys a little bit. And I appreciate all the support. Starkey out.